Hey, welcome back to Wanderlusting Lawyer. I've previously made a video about the absolute best sandals for hiking the Camino de Santiago, which in my opinion are Keen sandals, but specifically, I think the version I had is like the Venice 2, one that Velcros in the back for easy on and off. I love Keens because they have the covered toe bumper and I probably would have broken my toe 10 times on my two Caminos if I hadn't been wearing those. I alternated those with a pair of trail runners, uh, New Balance, the first Camino, and then Solomon, the second. Today, I am gonna be talking about the best uh, sandal for after walking, for the afternoon, for the nighttime, um, when you're just exploring the area that you're in. You wanna make sure, the last thing you would want is to be you know, blister free after your day of hiking and then wear a footwear that gives you blisters um, just from walking around town. And I definitely know people that that happened to. So today uh, I'm going to be talking about these. These are the Yoga Salty Mat, Salty, no, let me try that again. The Salty Yoga Mat Flip Flop by the brand Sanuk or Sanuk, S-A-N-U-K. I've talked about these in at least two other videos, but I've never done a video dedicated solely to them, a short video. These are amazing. I have three pairs of them. I've had these for over a year and wore them on a Camino last year, um, the Aragones that I did, and they still look almost brand new when you see them in person. You can see a little bit of like my footprint here, but they are unbelievably comfortable. I think I could easily walk five miles in these um, on a city sidewalk if I needed to. I've run, I've jogged in them with my dog, um, Cashew. He's he's napping right now, so I don't have him in the video today, but these are amazing, guys. Um, I don't know if they make a men's version as well, or perhaps men's feet can fit in these, but I just love them so much. They have a really cushiony, thick insole but they keep a really thin profile and they're really lightweight so they will lie flat easily in your backpack and they won't add much weight. I'm not even sure if they're a pound honestly um, and they just feel really good and squishy under your feet after a long day of walking. They let your toes breathe. I have never ever and I've walked miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. I've never had a problem with rubbing with this part that goes between the first and second toe. That can be an issue to sometimes, but I've never had that with these sandals. Um, I'm gonna put a link, you can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link for that below. They usually run anywhere between 20 and $40. You might be able to find them at other stores that are having them on sale or directly from the Sanuk website. I just usually get things from Amazon. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend these. Don't forget, you're not going to want to wear these in the shower. You're going to want a super, super, super lightweight. Um, even I saw someone make this recommendation about a pedicure sandal for the shower, and I thought that was really smart. Um, I have another video where I talk about what I use. I don't know if they're still making that shower sandal, so it's hard for me to like recommend it still, but I'll send you guys the video just to get a sense of what you can use. You could probably even make your own, honestly, if you are crafty and got some foam from like Michael's or something here in the States. I'm not sure if Michael's is in other places, but yeah, once again, these are the best. Highly recommend them. Many, many colors. Um, you'll be able to walk comfortably around town at night. Lightweight, go right in your backpack. Dry quickly. I've gotten them really wet. Um, they're just the best. So I hope that's helpful and I can't wait to hear. Leave a comment below if you're planning a Camino right now. Which one are you doing? Um, or if you've done one recently, how has it gone? All right, thanks guys and see you again soon. Buen Camino.